Okay, I want to make a little point about these uh, jack shafts, and in particular, the little set screws. You can see one right there, or the little hole right there. I'm going to show you what you need to do, because by themselves, uh, they're really kind of insufficient for keeping this uh, sprocket located. So I'm going to show you what you need to do. And the first thing you need to do is to get the shaft, get the keyway lined up, and then get your little key in there. So now, we know that's good, and there's a, there's a little, I'll spin it around, and you can see there's a little keyway, or I'm sorry, there's a little set screw that pinches down on the keyway. So, we're going to come in here, and we're going to snug that one down now. And then what we're going to do is come in here and this other little set screw that just sort of locks. It's just an additional one that locks, presses up against the shaft. We're going to come in here and we're going to take this one out completely right now. Then what we're going to do is take our little punch and we're going to put it in there and we're going to make a little mark on this shaft because what we're going to do is we're going to drill on that shaft alright that's pretty good and what we're going to do is we're going to drill onto the actual shaft and we're going to make a little pad, a little landing area for that set screw to sit because when it's just sitting here like this on round metal it's not very good if you drill a little hole and give it a place to kind of lock into then it's you're almost guaranteed to not have these sprockets move around on you wander uh, in or out or anything like that so we'll do that and then what we'll also do is we'll put some thread locker on every single one of these little set screws even the ones that hold down the uh, keyway uh, that one we don't need to drill into but we will put some thread locker on that and really cinch that down tight. But all these other little ones, there's another one here on this sprocket. We'll come in and do the same thing, drill a little hole, a little landing area for these set screws to sit on so that they definitely and for sure hold these sprockets in place. Okay, here I have the jack shaft out of the bike and I'll show you what I mean. You can get a real close look here at this set screw. So we'll take this little one out, and what I'm going to do, like I told you, I've got a real small little eighth inch drill bit here. And I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to make a little tiny mark with this, and for the final drill out, I'm going to uh, take the actual sprocket off, but for now, I just want to be real careful and not damage those splines, but I want to make a for sure mark in this shaft. Okay, that's a good one. I can see that one. Now we're going to do the same thing for this other shaft, or for the other sprocket, I mean. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah, we'll do it like that. There you go. Now you can see that's this one set screw. And this is the one that we're concerned with. Take that out. And we'll set it up. It's got a little fatter hole in it. And we'll just a little small drill just to make a mark. Okay. So we'll just come. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna completely remove these sprockets, and then we'll drill out. We'll drill onto the uh, shaft. And there again, you can see on the shaft my little marks for where I'm gonna drill. So I'll get started on that. I'm starting with an eighth-inch drill bit. It's a brand new bit, so I know it's nice and sharp. And then I'm gonna step up to 
This is a 932nd drill bit. And this one's also brand new, so it's nice and sharp. So. This is a hardened shaft, so it's not really easy to drill into. You don't have to drill in very far. I just kind of got that one started. And even with this drill bit, I'm not going to drill too far. I'm just kind of going to just make a little landing area for that set screw to drop into. So we'll come up here and we'll find our other little marks. Double check that. So. Right there's our little mark. Okay, just like the other one, we just need a little dent area there. Now we'll come in with our larger nine. Uh, 930 seconds drill bit and make these a little bit bigger and if you got a drill bit sharpener now is the time to use it because like I said this is hardened so it's difficult to drill into or just get yourself uh, new drill bits so there we go we'll get started on this one All right, and that's plenty right there. You really don't need to go any deeper than that. You can see it's about a sixteenth of an inch deep. And that's all you really need. You just need something for the little set screw to drop down into. Just something like that so it can't move around. So, and actually what I'm probably going to do is get longer set screws uh, so I get full, I get full thread contact in the sprocket, and then enough to drop down into the little landing area we drilled uh, for the set screws. So I'll drill out this other one, and, uh, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And there we go, all nice and smooth. I just take the radius end of this file and get in there in the hole and just go to town so well don't really go to town but you get in there and you just kind of clean that burr off of there and uh, so anyway we're ready to put the sprockets back on okay and there you can see down into the uh, set screw hole you can see all the way there at the bottom and then we just come in here with our set screw and twist it all the way down to the bottom like I said I'm gonna get longer ones so that I have full thread contact on the sprocket and enough to go down into that little landing area. So I got the little set screw set back in there and you can kind of see how far down it really goes in there and that's why I'm going to buy uh, longer ones just so I get that full thread contact. Uh, more strength, it's just going to last longer, you're not going to have problems breaking, breaking the set screws and then chewing up chain or spitting out the jack shaft. It's a real big problem. I had that problem on the little mini bike I built years ago. So I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to go with uh, longer set screws and some thread locker in there. So the last thing you want to do is come in and also do one more little hole, one more little landing area for your locking collar on the opposite side of the shaft, opposite from the sprockets. So just that one little area and you're done. And the only uh, set screws that you need to replace are the ones that you drilled landings for. All these other little ones, uh, like this one right here that holds the keyway in place, you don't need to buy longer ones and you don't need to drill landing. All you need to do is just put some thread locker on there and snug them down tight. And that's it.